This week, big multinational companies accused for dodging taxes were invited to the European Parliament. Not all accepted the invitation, but those who did came with one main common message. They do pay taxes and they all comply with the law. We pay taxes wherever we operate in accordance with the law. The structure of Google's business complies with the law. Inter IKEA Group pay taxes in accordance with laws and regulations wherever we operate. We comply with applicable laws, including the timely and accurate payment of all taxes that are owed in each country where we operate. The repetitive answers upset several parliamentarians. Philippe Lambert from the Greens called the business representatives machines. Peter Simon from the Socialists and Democrats was also upset, arguing that the companies do all in their power to go as far as legally possible to minimize their tax payments. But every time I hear these technocrats telling us um, that it is completely normal, everyone does it this way, this makes me upset. According to the OECD, tax avoidance from big companies amounts to 4 to 10 percent of the global corporate income tax each year. This means tax losses of between 100 to 240 billion US dollars. A large chunk of these losses are taken in the EU. Still, the companies in the parliamentary hearing all claim that they do in fact pay a lot of tax. Apple said it was the biggest taxpayer in the world. Google argued it paid roughly 20% tax on its profits, and McDonald's said it paid 29%. The companies also got support from some parliamentarians in the room. Gunnar Hökmark from the Conservatives argued that it was strange to accuse successful companies for following the law. Either the rules are good or not, but it's not the companies or the individuals wrong if they are following them. Gunnar Hökmark argued that it's up to the politicians to create more effective rules, and this has also been the ambition within both the OECD and the EU the last couple of years. In January, the European Commission presented a package of measures to fight tax avoidance. The main idea is to make sure that companies pay taxes where they make their money. The European Parliament has little to say about taxation, and in the end of the day, it's up to EU member states to implement more strict laws. Many argue, however, that they are reluctant to actually do so. Some EU countries are rather part of the problem, giving sweetheart deals to big companies. For instance, Ireland, with its 12% corporate tax rate, or Luxembourg, often accused for being a tax haven, as well as the Netherlands, currently holding the EU presidency. Green member of the parliament Sven Giegold calls this prostitution. Uh, that is clear. Uh, some member states are basically uh, prostituting uh, their sovereignty to these companies.